I'm always open to talking about a certain Mario RPG series on this channel. I've grown up with the first three installments, played the later two, and love this series. Mario and Luigi! What? I don't always gotta talk about Paper Mario. Allow me to compare the two and talk about their rates and quality and consistency. Side by side, I'd say the Mario and Luigi series is personally the better of the two, as despite how spectacular the highs of Super, 64, and Thousand Year Door were, Sticker Star and Color Splash I feel was a massive step back in multiple ways for the series. Mario and Luigi, on the other hand, hasn't had that same luxury of having a specific game or two being vastly different from what the series used to be. Mario and Luigi's latest installment, Paper Jam, has become the least popular and critically successful Mario & Luigi game, discounting the remix. Despite that though, not only is it what you'd mostly expect from a Mario & Luigi game, it's by no means as big of a major shift in gameplay, story, characters, and atmosphere that Paper Mario's had to endure. While I agree with some that it is likely the worst Mario & Luigi game, I still think it's a good one regardless. Mario & Luigi is known for its original stories, unique characters, slapstick and comedy, clever writing, interactive and quicker paced gameplay compared to Paper Mario anyways, and character development among the Mario cast. Paper Jam's looked down on because it lacks the original world's story and characters, but unlike the last two Paper Mario games, its gameplay has remained consistently fantastic. The writing's also still hilarious, and even among the pre-established Mario characters, minus the toads to a certain length, a lot of them are well written with genuine personality and distinction, along with the library of them being large, varied, and well utilized. Unlike Sticker Star where the bare minimum was used along with other issues, you'd still get the core Mario and Luigi experience you get from previous games. The reason I address Paper Mario this early is because besides Paper Mario being one of the biggest sticking points to you guys on my channel, people compare Paper Jam with the other Paper Mario games, and the whole Risa Tabata thing with implying the whole weightless idea of Paper Mario can be experimented because Mario and Luigi exists. So fans have this sacrificial mentality of we'd only get one Mario RPG on the system, or something ridiculous and flawed. I know there will be someone who will wonder this or ask where I put it on that scale, where I don't think there's any justification or reason in doing so, unless you're comparing the character variety or something. Paper Jam is literally not a Paper Mario. No Mario & Luigi game plays like any of the Paper Mario games. Paper Jam's the fifth Mario & Luigi game in the series. It only has Paper Mario in it with connections to Sticker Star, with its characters. Both series are RPGs with Mario characters in it, but that's it. Whether for quality or tier placement, or the idea that we're only going to get either Paper Mario or Mario Luigi, that's not how it works, nor would it serve any good. It's flawed logic given Sticker Star and Dream Team exist on the 3DS, along with Paper Jam and the remakes, and Mario Luigi's far from at risk of failing or dying like Paper Mario, so there's no justification or exaggeration when it comes to that. Even with all this, the other four installments in Mario & Luigi have boasted most of the traits I've listed. The thing that separates Mario & Luigi and Paper Mario apart from quality is consistency. Mario & Luigi has been a consistent series. Now, with all this said, I love this series. Alongside Paper Mario and the other Mario genres, the Mario & Luigi series is one that stuck out to me being one of Mario's best. It has plenty of originality, a bunch of unique ideas, loads of charm, plenty of laughs and comedy, some heartfelt moments here and there, but especially character-driven moments and development with the main Mario cast, not to mention the awesome gameplay. Couple all this together with how long it's been since Paper Jam, when will the next Mario & Luigi game be, and what can we expect? I'm aware Alpha Dream worked on the Mario & Luigi remakes not too long ago, but you gotta remember those are remakes built off of Paper Jam's engine, which was directly built off Dream Team's. Also considering they cut slash altered content in those remakes compared to the original and each remake came a year apart from each other, along with Paper Jam and the Superstar Saga remake coming two years after the last entry as opposed to Mario & Luigi's usual four year time gap, those didn't take that much time to complete compared to newer Mario & Luigi games. Also, last July of 2018, Alpha Dream put out job listings to expand their team for help, working on games for smartphones, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. The fact this job listing was put out a year ago, and they finished the Bowser's Inside Story remake early this past year, something tells me we're not going to get a Mario & Luigi game for a good while. I have no doubt the next title will be on Switch. Glorious console graphics in full HD, hopefully retaining the game's trademark cartoonish art style and bouncy charm along with it. When though makes me think either 2021 or later. Honestly, Mario & Luigi's take a while to take, and if they're struggling to make the jump to newer hardware, along with the fact that they want to expand their team, it makes me think it'll be a good while until we hear anything about Mario & Luigi. I could very well be wrong, however, I'm just making an educated guess. If I'm wrong and we get it sooner, 
I'll take that L, because you know I love this series. Now, we're left with the what. What is there to expect from Mario & Luigi Switch? Mario & Luigi's have a habit of incorporating some kind of gimmick into the gameplay and story to make it distinct from each other. Partners in Time had the Baby Mario Bros and the DS's dual screens. Bowser's Inside Story had the same thing, but also Bowser and practically two different worlds to travel between the main one and Bowser's body. Dream Team was largely built off Bowser's Inside Story with the same types of mechanics and gimmicks and such, just mostly with different themes plus motion control. Paper Jam even had Paper Mario and translating Paper Mario into the Mario & Luigi format. Superstar Saga was the first game in the series, but it didn't try anything mechanically fancy. The only fancy thing it did was introduce that Mario & Luigi charm. Looking at the Switch, they'll likely try some fancy gimmick with either HD rumble or motion controls. Hopefully the former considering they backpedaled on motion controls after the bad reception it got from Dream Team, looking at Paper Jam. Mario & Luigi's utilized the hardware it's on, and like Superstar Saga, it's going back to a single screen. However, this will be the first console caliber Mario & Luigi game, so maybe there could be some idea or gimmick in mind with utilizing the series within full proper 3D on an HD console. Or maybe they'll refrain from any big gimmicks and just somewhat go back to the basics and just solely replicate Mario & Luigi's atmosphere and style on a home console, like how Super Star Saga was simply the first game on the Game Boy, a single screen portable handheld. I'm predicting something with HD rumble at the very least, but I don't need a Mario & Luigi game to be too gimmicky. Dream Team's bro slash Luigi attacks were mostly motion controlled, which they ended up fixing a Paper Jam, so I'm fine with Mario & Luigi playing as standard as Mario & Luigi can mechanically be. New bros attacks and abilities and such are to be expected of course, like any new Mario & Luigi though. What about story? Characters, plots, what can they do to make things interesting? The obvious request, I'd like new characters and a new antagonist, which Mario & Luigi games do regularly. At the very least, if they'll reuse older characters and antagonists, which they likely will, I want them to expand upon their character or provide some unique narrative twist that we haven't seen them do before. Like what Dream Team did to Bowser, really developed his role as a secondary to primary antagonist after its previous installments. But given people disliked Paper Jam because it lacked original characters all over the board, there should likely be some new characters of some kind, at the very least an interesting villain. Personally, what they could do, and I'd make this an exception, is revisit the Shroobs since they're not dead. In Partners in Time, the Elder Princess Shroob promised revenge at the end of the game, but in Bowser's Inside Story, there's an optional boss fight with a couple normal Shroobs in a cryogenic freezer. In there, you see a plethora of different types of Shroobs encased in ice, with the Elder Princess all the way in the back. They gave Fawful a crazy revenge plot, and he's one of the most popular Mario antagonists, so they could probably get away with the same thing for Elder Princess Shroob. They have that easter egg that they can use to create a revenge plot and do some crazy conqueror type story with Mario and Luigi taking back the Mushroom Kingdom bit by bit. Maybe even Bowser holding his own territory or an alliance with them or the enemy. The Elder Princess and the army could even thaw out but retreat, rekindle their forces, maybe even expand their ranks beyond their own alien race and conquer the kingdom out of spite against Mario and especially Luigi for practically wiping out the shrewd mushrooms because of baby tears if you remember Partners in Time. Strengthen Luigi's character like in Dream Team again. Maybe Mario and Luigi could travel in space too. A Mario and Luigi space adventure would be dope. Like if Mario Galaxy turned into an RPG like Mario and Luigi kind of. And the Shroobs intercept the Comet Observatory and Rosalina lent aid to Mario and Luigi against the toxic mushroom aliens. I think that'd be cool. Or give Peach a bigger role as her previous capture and quote unquote fight against Princess Shroob and being trapped could give her drive and motivation to fight for her own kingdom. Hey, Peach in the RPGs has done far more than what she usually does in the mainline entries. Look at Paper Mario Super or Thousand Year Door, or Super Mario RPG. Hell, even Bowser's Inside Story or Dream Team, where she wasn't even captured or helpless at certain times. At least give her something. As a matter of fact, bring in more characters from main games. Mario and Luigi games are known for utilizing pre-established characters and doing a fantastic job at doing so. Toadette actually had a role in Paper Jam, the Koopalings were in Superstar Saga and Paper Jam, and actually had proper charismatic personalities. Professor Egad played a key part in the whole time travel thing in Partners in Time. Even Birdo was a secondary boss alongside Popple in Superstar Saga, and Dream Team did a good job re-establishing Mario and Luigi specific characters, like Brock Manjur, the Block and Who people, Kylie Koopa, Popple, Starlow, etc. Hopefully the characters continue to be well written and efficiently used like before will like some kind of interesting plot with good character moments and development again, because moments between the Mario Bros and even Bowser are where these games shine the brightest, sometimes even with the main antagonist. One sick idea would be to make Wario and Waluigi star an antagonist role for once. Characters filling roles people have been begging for to happen for like a decade now. 
Wario and Waluigi being villains in Mario and Luigi goes like butter on bread. That leaves a lot of potential to make them stand out as the bros villainous doppelgangers and give them a major role outside of sports titles and WarioWare. You can't forget to trademark Mario and Luigi slapstick comedy and funny writing either. Also expecting some kind of interesting location. Whether the game takes place on an island, or a different kingdom like Superstar Saga and Dream Team, or the locations try to be a little more than just your typical grass plains, desert, snow world, forest, etc. Bowser's Inside Story did some more weird themes looking at Plaque Beach and having all these rotted teeth along the coast, or Bowser's Castle transforming into a castle for Fawful with Bowser's minions betraying him in tow, not to mention you were inside Bowser's body half of the game, or look at Dream Team with the entire island surrounding sleep, bedtime, and dreams, so the locales were themed around pajamas, dozing, beds, etc. Something with a little extra depth than the bare minimum world of variety and distinction most 2D Mario games do. And of course, a glorious soundtrack. Yoko Shimomura has yet to disappoint me with Mario & Luigi music. Every single game soundtrack sounds utterly orgasmic, so I think that's the safest bet anyone can make. And that's all I can say. I mean, I could prattle on about how I'd love the first three games to be put on Switch remastered slash remade because they're not only fantastic games, but Partners in Time never got the remake it deserved like its older and younger siblings. But Mario & Luigi is a fantastic franchise all the same. It's yet to do me much wrong, even with Paper Jam's faults. So I'm curious to see how they'll tackle the bros' next turn-based adventure. Though I don't think it'll be for a good while. I think we'll get a Paper Mario next year, it's been a good while since Color Splash came out. I've already said my piece on Paper Mario's next installment, Intelligent Systems, its date, and what to expect. But not only do I think that won't stop Alpha Dream from continuing Mario & Luigi, it sounds like the next Mario & Luigi game is still a decent ways off. But I hope it retains the series' character development, solid plot structure, hilarious and charming writing, and well-designed gameplay, cartoony aesthetic, and overall legacy. Maybe somewhere around 2021 20, or 2022 we could get an announcement? That's my guess though, I could be wrong again. This is all educated guessing. What do you think? Anything else we may get out of Mario & Luigi? Any other hopes or expectations I may not have mentioned? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for even more videos on Mario & Luigi, Paper Mario, and other Mario & Nintendo related content. Stay super.